Hello and welcome to another review with myself, Amata, where we will be taking a look at the headset from Rockat, the Rockat Cross. When it comes to picking a decent set of headphones, the task can be a little daunting as there are an absolute ton of options and paying more doesn't necessarily net you a superior product. My name's Paul and I'm here with a quick message from this video sponsor, ICO Backers. Cryptocurrency has been a very hot topic of late and we have an interesting new contender, Crowdwiz, which had an exciting launch on the 20th of November. Crowdwiz is like a community-run investment fund which makes use of an ICO, which lends it more security thanks to blockchain technology. Crowdwiz is a highly anticipated ICO and is off to a great start with a successful pre-launch. Unlike other investment funds, it uses the wisdom of the crowd to decide direction. If you're interested in dipping your toes into the cryptocurrency waters without worrying about learning everything there is to know about the world of cryptocurrency, Crowdwiz is here for you. They currently have investment bonuses available until December the 8th, so if you want more details you can click in the link in the video description or you can stick around to the end of the video for more information. When looking for a headset, either for using to game with your friends on TeamSpeak or keeping contact on Skype or Discord, it becomes harder as many headset mics seem closer to a potato than a piece of hardware. Before I get stuck into the review, let me say that while this video is not sponsored by Rockat, this headset was sent as a review sample from them that we were allowed to keep. With that out of the way, let's talk facts. While the Rockat Cross headphones are technically a headset, the headset function is totally optional, with the microphone being removable, so I am going to tackle this review in two parts. The first thing I want to discuss is build quality, which is one of the two key things that I think you look for when choosing a pair of headphones. The other is of course sound quality. But first off, the Cross headphones are well built, but due to their light weight at only 185 grams, they do feel a touch flimsy. However, the overall appearance of them is very slick and simple, with the Rockat name emblazoned across the headband and the Lion logo on one of the earpieces. The design is not overstated, but it does feel like a quality product despite my concerns about its light weight. The fit is also comfortable with the expected ability to extend the headband size. Speaking of the headband, there is a thin layer of padding on the inside, meaning that you do not get the discomfort or chafing that you might get with a cheaper pair of headphones after long periods of use. However, the main comfort factor is of course the ear cups themselves. When wearing the headphones again for long periods, I had no discomfort at all, thanks in part to the memory foam on them, which felt quite snug. The design of the ear cups also meant there was very little sound leakage both in or out of the speakers, making these headphones great for those of you travelling on public transport or even if you're just trying to game or possibly as a cheap option to start recording say streams or YouTube videos. I tested the sound quality across multiple different music genres as well as of course usage for things such as YouTube, voice chat and of course gaming. While well, the sound is a little bassy, overall the sound quality is crisp and clear and equally at home with your music library as it is with gaming. That bassy quality lends things such as gunshots and explosions a real impactful feel, meaning that these are especially at home with gaming, but I would have no trouble recommending, recommending these for regular use with music or again voice chats. One of the main features of the Rockat Cross headset is the ability to be truly multi-platform, as you can completely ignore the microphone section, as you have a boom mic which can be plugged into one of the earpieces with a 3.5mm jack, or plug it in for those voice capabilities. On the PC side, this will go into the green and pink or rear audio jacks, or sometimes front, depending on your system, but you know the ones I mean. We'll plug into there and will be instantly usable with no muss and no fuss. Now, I have mentioned using this on the go, say on public transport, multiple times, and it does actually have an inline cable for mobile, meaning that you can answer calls and listen to your favourite music or podcasts on the go. Again, this is completely swappable, meaning that you can use the same headset for multiple devices. Sadly, the boom mic is not console friendly, but there's nothing stopping you from using the mobile cable and say your Xbox One, assuming your controller has the audio jack. 
Now obviously if you're going to be using the headset portion of this particular piece of hardware you want to know well how's the audio quality? I mentioned potato mics earlier. Well the audio quality of the mic which I will show you a sample of in just a second is clear although you can get a touch of hiss on the boom mic. This is the sound recorded off the Rocket Cross mic plugged into my PC and we are going to be comparing it to my usual mic which is a Blue Snowball Ice mic which of course is done via USB. Okay this is a mic test for the Rocket Cross plugged into my mobile phone which is an Honor 5C and of course it's going to be compared to not only my usual mic of the Snowball but of course the recording which was done with the boom mic plugged into the back of my PC. But again, given the potato quality of a lot of headset mics, I would have no trouble recommending the Cross for gaming or voice chat use. The inline mobile mic is also just fine and provides surprisingly clear audio if you want to answer calls while on the go without having to unplug your headphones from your mobile device. Sometimes those inline mics can be a bit potato-y themselves, but and on my tests, which you would have just heard, it sounded perfectly clear and more than good enough to use for answering calls. Overall, the Cross is achieving the very useful goal that Rocket had here. To eliminate the need for multiple headphones or headsets based on your usage, excuse me, and put them all into one single package. Overall, however, I would recommend the Rocket Cross, despite my concerns about the flimsiness of the headphones, that is only a small niggle, to be honest. Overall, this is a fantastic set of headphones, which also, of course, double as a headset, which I would feel more than comfortable using for an evening's gaming. And again, regardless of your taste in music, these will give you crisp and clear sound, which is what you really care about. And again, they are perfectly comfortable to wear for long periods. So, yeah, rock out cross headphones, everybody. Would recommend. Thank you very much for watching, and bye for now. Thanks so much for watching the video, your support is always appreciated. If you're still here, it's because you want to know more about CrowdWiz. As mentioned at the start of this video, CrowdWiz is based on Wisdom of the Crowd, which means you get to vote alongside the rest of the community on the future of your investment. They use the collective opinion of a community to make the investments in cryptocurrencies easier and safer. You can find out everything there is to know at crowdwiz.io, and I've put the link in the video description. If CrowdWiz is something you're interested in getting involved in, there's a 5% bonus sale available if you sign up until December the 8th. Each Wiz token is worth $1, but if you sign up before December the 8th and buy, for example, $100 worth of tokens, you would get $105 worth of tokens. Find out more and sign up in the link in the video description, and thanks very much for watching. Take care of yourselves, and once again, thanks very much to the video sponsor. Bye for now.